Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Another day, the last day, getting back home. Last night, uh, we actually managed to push from Utah all the way to Canadian border and we set up the camp here in the Milk River River for the night. Uh, so basically we got here around uh, two o'clock at night. Uh, it was a super long ride. Uh, we put over a thousand uh, kilometers in that day. Got through the customs, no problem. And now we are back on Canadian soil. It was an awesome trip, awesome, awesome trip. So much that we have seen on the way and uh, mishaps and awesome adventure. And now it's time to go home to the families and spend some time with the families after this uh, absence uh, from our country and our homes. If you like the content on this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below browse uh, through the content from this trip uh, there's gonna be probably quite a few episodes that uh, I will release uh, as, uh, one after another if you just caught on this one started from the beginning so you follow the ride from Calgary to Utah and back we'll share the adventure with you guys and all the sceneries that we had along the way so let's get back on the road and we'll stop somewhere for coffee and uh, another four hours to get home. So after three and a half hours sleep, as I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, we came here at two o'clock and I woke up at 6.30, 8.40. I'm back on the road again, uh, back on the, on the road home. So the night, uh, the short night that I had was uh, way more chillier than any other night that we had, of course. Uh, we're back in Canada and the temperature dropped down to like uh, 10, uh, 10 degrees Celsius uh, But I didn't get cold in the tent Good gear is the key So as long as I have a good gear uh, to sleep in like sleeping bag and liners Then I can take it probably all the way down to minus 5. I already did that actually before So yeah, I did have a good sleep even though it was short but I fell fall asleep right away without any any tossing and turning. I was so tired. So now I, I'll ride for a couple more minutes or maybe an hour, and I'll see where I can find Canadian coffee. Um, I'm, I'm not too pleased with the American coffees. Uh, not the best coffees out there. But they hit the spot when they have to, so. Normally I make my own on a campsite, but I didn't want it to, make, to monkey around today in the morning. And my friend, he's still sleeping. Uh, he is exhausted. And uh, once he wakes up, he's planning to go to his acreage down in Glenwood. I didn't want it to do that. I want to drive straight home. I got uh, 29 uh, kilometers left uh, to Lethbridge. So probably that's uh, that's where I fill up. I hope I'm not gonna get caught in the rain. I didn't, didn't even check the forecast, but doesn't matter at this point. It is what it is. Uh, anytime you go down to Utah, it's um, it's such an experience uh, that no, uh, the words cannot even describe it. Uh, what you what you see there, and the riding was so much fun. Um, one thing to point out, I crossed the border and uh, I'm not juiced. They let me through, no problem, back to my country. And I was told uh, to quarantine for two weeks. We'll see what's gonna happen. I'm healthy and I, t I did a test uh, before coming into Canada, the antigen test, just to prove them that I'm uh, healthy. And I did that on the last fuel stop. Uh, before I hit the border, that was an hour and a half away from the border. He asked me if I did tests, so I told him I did it, and I wanted to show him, and uh, well, actually I did show him, but he didn't even uh, had a close look at it, just from far away, punched me in the computer, and told me to quarantine. Not sure why do I have to quarantine if I'm healthy. Different story if I would be uh, sick, yes, I would be quarantining, but uh, 
If I'm healthy, I'm not uh, really planning to do so. That's a waste of time on my vacation time. So yeah, that's the story uh, of the last night. Just keep on going uh, through the empty fields. There is not much more beautiful scenery on the way. So it's uh, actually not four hours, I lied. <laughs> I thought it's four hours, uh, but I didn't remember, but it's uh, two hours, two and a half hours. Well, I'm driving already for half an hour, so three hours. So far on this trip, I made uh, 4,000, actually 5,040 kilometers uh, from Calgary and back here. And I still have 200 to, to go. So over 5,000 kilometers uh, from June 18 to until today. So that's 10 days. Uh, 5,000 kilometers uh, total that I've traveled on this trip. My tires uh, lasted me for a whole trip. I was, they were already used last season. I'm pretty, very curious how long actually they will last. What's the mileage I'm gonna get of them? Because um, I think that this is the longest I had the tractionators uh, on my uh, on my bike. That's my uh, third set already. The first uh, couple of sets I changed it ahead of time a little bit uh, because uh, I was doing quite a bit of off-roading. So I was getting the, around 18, 19,000 kilometers out of them. The front actually is still okay, uh, but the back uh, is uh, almost uh, at the end of its life. I'm gonna push it to the end. Uh, because I got no major off-roading planned in the next couple of months. Maybe I'll be able to get out something on gravel or whatever, but I got nothing really serious happening. And I want to see how far I can push those tires. Maximum life uh, out of the rear tire. Now I'm just entering left bridge alberta and it will be time for some coffee and something to eat definitely need a coffee that's unheard of to get out of a bed and not having a coffee but tim hortons maybe on the left i see some shopping center there canadian tire and so on What I found out, I'll show you in a second. When you're riding, the noise on the helmet comes from here. When you put the hand right there, it stops. I'm gonna have to come up with something uh, because that noise of the wind is driving me bonkers. And I just realized that now, I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough speed now to show you this. Yeah, he's not even accelerating. hear it a little bit but uh, I'll show you later when I uh, ride at a little bit higher speed because this guy in front of me is a marshmallow on that uh, gold old gold wing Time to get some gas. Had a coffee already.
just crossed the river. Uh, it's called Oldman River and uh, the view was on uh, in the canyon. It was pretty nice. That's the only attraction today. And uh, I'll go back to what I was talking about earlier about the noise uh, hitting the helmet. Uh, when I'm talking, I can hear that probably in the audio, which is driving me bonkers. I just find out what it is. So if I put my hands over here, that stops the wind hitting the side of the helmet uh, and uh, making that uh, noise. So I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of a flap or something that uh, that's gonna push the block this section here, so it doesn't hit the helmet. I'm not sure if there's anything like this to be made or I'm gonna buy something or maybe rig something up. And now you can hear it even more as I accelerate. This is it, and when I put the hands there, it stops. so I can hear it on the computer once I upload the file. It makes no difference if the screen is taller or shorter, it's coming from the sides. That's the last couple of kilometers uh, before I get home. Uh, to be exact, 92 kilometers left. And uh, it's time to end this trip or adventure. It was uh, awesome. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. There were so many nice places that, I, that we have visited. And uh, yeah, we did the off-road uh, in Moab. Uh, Canyonlands was one of the major highlights. Also, the episode at Bonneville, uh, Salt Lake Flats uh, racetrack, that was uh, also an uh, experience. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.